wagon train? Well, uh, I answered an ad in the paper. They were looking for a bass player, and uh, I played the bass, so I uh, figured, well, wagon train. <laughs> Alright, seriously, though. Well, uh, seriously, I, uh, I started playing in uh, the old band, the old band that I thought was the best band in the world, and it's Testa Verde, and, uh... What happened with that? We, we were finally ready to play a show, and then we broke up. And that's it. And what, what were the circumstances of that? Uh, everybody kind of wanted to play the show, but the, uh, the drummer refused to play the show. He said that we weren't good enough to play the show. Probably was right. <laughs> okay, and uh, how do you feel about Wagon Train? Well, we've had Is our it a step and, up? We've had our ups and our downs. Uh, I missed we missed Testa Verde, but uh, we've got our we've got our really great thing going with Wagon Train. How, how long have y'all been going right now? This, today was our sixth practice. Really? We've got thirteen songs. All right, and you're playing the bass. Yes. And you've been playing the bass for long. You know, your questions are really starting to kind of piss me off. I'm sorry. Let's go to another section of questions here. Let me see. Um, Forget it. Forget it. All right, Jack, you're the drummer. That is correct. I play percussion for Wagon Train. When did you start doing that? Start playing drums for Wagon Train or start playing drums? Uh, Just playing the drums, really. Well, um, for years I've always uh, delved with drumsticks. You know, I'd hit on tables using pencils and whatever other straight object I could find. Uh, so for about six years now I've been like uh, periodically hitting on drums, but I haven't really played consistently until I joined Wagon Train. Um, I don't own a drum set. I unfortunately have to borrow one uh, for the time being. So, for about six or seven years, maybe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And how, how do you think you're coming along? Oh, great, wonderful. Uh, my uh, my mentor, uh, James Davis, he's taught me a lot about uh, paradiddles and uh, you know doubles and singles. The rudiments of drums. Um, so with his help, I can progress, you know, substantially over the years. We've practiced six times with uh, the ensemble of Wagon Train, and we've completed up to about 16 songs. Uh, that that is 16 songs uh, with drums that uh, I pretty much can handle so far. So I look forward to the future. So you figure y'all are coming together pretty well. Oh yes, very much so. Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, what are, what are your hopes for the future with Wagon Train? Well, we're going to start with the European tour and possibly New Zealand and Australia. But uh, I don't think we'll be re well recepted in Japan. Although the Germans might like Wagon Train. Uh, but as for the future, well, they're into Hasselhoff and everything. Yeah. You think it's because y'all aren't good, and Germans tend to like you know well, I, music I, like that? Well, yeah. I, I tend that I think that. Our appearance is very similar to David Hasselhoff. You think the German crowds are more, you know, accepting of different acts? Well, that's hard to say because we haven't been to Germany yet. But uh, we'll do, you, do you know any German people? Um, uh, besides Hitler, no, uh, not really. Uh, right. Not personally. You know, I know of them. Right. I don't really speak uh, much German. Look at yeah. Joe Bostic, what do you do in Wagon Train? Um, I play guitar and I sing. What do you do, Lewis Smith? I play guitar and I don't sing. Okay. And you, you are the founding members, basically the core of Wagon Train, correct? Yeah, we started the band in um, December of '01. And it's existed up till now. It's about four months. About 150 songs. 
Wow. Really? Well, actually, recorded. We have ninety songs on. Uh, and how do you go albums. about make? How do you go about making all these songs? Well, we just record them into either a four-track machine or a digital machine. Or we kind of have a love affair with the four-track. Love, love hate. Love hate relationship with the um, digital thing though, because I'll hate it sometimes and love it sometimes. Yeah. I don't ever love it. The eight track fucking sucks. Sometimes I hate it. Digital record, it sucks. <laughs> it's stupid. So who who writes who writes the songs? Me, Jack, Joe, and Eddie. Yeah, well, yeah, basically. Mo the majority of the recorded songs were written by me and Lou, but then you have some where Jack Porterville wrote some songs. We have various sit-in musicians. Ken Webb to play on a song. Um, Ed has recently played on a couple songs. And, um, Nash. So how do y'all feel about the band? We like our band. Yeah. So you, you feel like you're going strong right now? Uh, well, we hope so. We're just trying to get our stuff together and we're going to move our wagon along. You know. Tell us the story behind Wagon Train. Did we not tell you the story already? Uh, I mean, oh, behind the name Wagon yes, Train. Yes, yes. Oh, you want to feel well, that? The Saints lost, and I called up the uh, was it post game show, I guess, and uh, told the host buddy D that I was gonna, uh, you know, I had some, you know, I had a few comments, and then I was gonna uh, play him a little song, and I uh, went ahead and did that, and he was like, "Who sounds like wagon train music?" And uh, we stuck with the name, basically. I think it was. Under understand you had a band at the time. Not really, no. They, we didn't have songs. Uh, at that time, I was in a band called Test Subverty, yeah, which no longer exists, which was a much different approach to music than Wagon Train was. Yes, but, I mean, d the two of you had a project before well, the, uh, Wagon Train. Well, hardcore noise rock, uh, but we didn't have anything. We oh, did have yeah, guitar, guitar It was kind of recording on a boombox, but... We had guitar playing. Mm -hmm. it was okay. And, and um, what was that band? I played the drums and he played guitar. Yeah. We had a fellow named Bone who played who sang, and we also had a bass player. Yeah. I and mean, he didn't really do very. You couldn't really hear the bass on the recording though. And who was that? But what happened uh, was Kevin Davis. <coughs> once I learned a few chords, oh. he's not really a bass player. I decided to play it a lot differently. Though. I didn't know about that. I don't think I could okay. play in that band. I don't think I could do that. With guitar playing. So so guitar playing. Guitar became a fairly good band. It's not wagon train. An underrated band. But wagon, no, wagon train is a totally different band. So, so you guitar playing is a is so Buddy D basically whipped it into you. Um, Buddy D gave us the inspiration. <laughs> Yeah. 